Hello, heroes. It's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. All right, let's go over some announcements. As always, like I say, if you're watching, uh, if you're listening to this on the podcast, whether it be SoundCloud, Stitcher, or iTunes, thank you for leaving a comment. Give some good ratings. And in the future, we're actually, you know, just going to be a Probably over within the next couple of months, I will actually be launching my own hero podcast that'll be specifically for that. So it will not just be a 15 minute fuel copied over. Uh, but in the meantime, hopefully you enjoy that. Also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you haven't been there, it's Dr. Zeno. That's where we have all our 15 minute fuel uh, stationed at, as, as well as our We Are Heroes. So let me tell you. I watch one of the We Are Heroes shows every single day. I make it make a effort to watch one a day, not because I just want to watch myself. <laughs> it's uh, because I really learned some good stuff. Remember, those are do they were documented. We did not create those shows. They were documented, meaning that it happened when it happened. And so all the cool stuff that happens or is said that just innately kind of, you ever give someone advice and something comes through you that you're like, damn, that was great. What, where was, where'd that come from? Well, you catch, you catch those things. So that interaction that we had in those uh, videos, there's a lot of things that, you know, it speaks to me even today. Remember when you give advice to someone, chances are the advice you give to someone else is something that you also need as well. So, uh, I make it part of my study, you know, that's why we made them five to 10 minutes because they're good, uh, they're good bathroom, uh, videos if you need to watch them. So uh, make sure you, I would set, you know, we did 51 of those. I would definitely make sure over the next 50 days you watch one per day and then share the ones you really like. So check that out on YouTube. They're all there for you as well. All right. So for today's 15 minute fuel, I just got back from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's pretty much all I'm going to say about Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right. So in Milwaukee, I, uh, I uh, was just going over my hero talk and we were kind of, you know, uh, developing things out. And I want to go and, you know, as we develop this, this, I want to go over some clarifications. You know, someone asked me the other day, so Dr. Zeno, um, we have, you know, embracing the hero mindset, right? So embracing the hero mindset is going from understanding the enemy of the hero is not the villain. It's a secret identity, right? That's the enemy. So the enemy of Batman wasn't the Joker. It was Bruce Wayne. The enemy of Superman wasn't Lex Luthor. It was Clark Kent because this is all the things that kept them from being a 100% hero the entire time. And then part of that embrace in the mindset is understanding the secret identity, embracing the pride, the ego, and the humility. So um, another way uh, we, we could talk about pride is the value you have in your accomplishments and what you did. You know, having value in that. And in pride, it would be, you know, a, a sense of confidence and meaning in the things you do as well. So that's also other ways to think of pride and, uh, and ego. And also it's balanced out with humility because of self-awareness. Self-awareness meaning that I know my strengths. I know my lane. But I also know my Areas that aren't my lane, the areas that I don't care to learn or know about. And, but I know there's other people that are. So this is where we surround ourselves with other heroes that are, have superpowers in those lanes. And we team up in a very superhero squadish type of way. And this is how we move forward as a team. It's not going to be by yourself. It's always going to be with a group of people, 100%. So let's talk about then after that, it was uh, maximizing your superpowers and then choosing your vehicle of influence. So now, when you think about maximizing your superpowers and vehicle of influence, you know, sometimes uh, a couple of you had emailed me and are getting those confused, which I understand too. It was kind of an area I want to be able to clarify, and I got it clarified this week. Now, a, for, for instance, speaking is not a superpower. It's what I speak. Speaking is my vehicle. It's what I speak about is my superpower. You follow? So for you, if you love to write, writing isn't your superpower, that is your vehicle. It's what you write about that becomes your superpower. If you like to do videos, the video isn't your superpower, it's your vehicle. It's what the video's on that becomes your superpower. So whether your superpower is empathy, uh, whether your superpower is understanding uh, a skill or a craft or having a message, you know, you know, the superpower is the message. It's the message of inspiring others to be heroes. You know, I'm a, I'm a freaking hero maker. I'm a liberator. I'm a hero liberator, basically, right? So my, so that is in my writing. That is in my speaking. That is in my videos. It's to wake up heroes because I believe all people uh, were born with seeds of greatness and capable of doing heroic things. So that's a great way to decipher what's a vehicle 
And what's a superpower? I'm glad you guys are liking it with all the hearts. So remember, when you think, so what is my superpower? Then you look, in the, you, you look at the signpost of your life. You know, these are the things where um, if I gave you the $50 million today, what would you do in six months? Uh, what do you do that you forget to eat? What do you do that at the end of it you have so much energy? What do you do that time flies by? You don't even realize four or five hours flew by. What can you talk about all the time? After a hard day of work of nine to five, what would you be doing? You know, what would you love to do? Um, all these different things. You know, if um, what do most people come to you and talk about? So or, or ask about? So whatever that is, that could be singing, that could be that could be all these different talents you have, crocheting. You know, you name it. Uh, some people like to build buildings. You know, like in real estate, you love just the the idea of taking an idea of a building, making a building, and then literally seeing it appear in real life, something like that, and and then give other people opportunity to run their businesses through that building. So. That is your superpower. It's a thing that it's a thing that you could do all the time. You have you just get lit up when you do it all the time. So that's just why. So whatever that is, I want you to do it on a daily basis. But how do we do it on a daily basis? Is by we need a vehicle to express that, right? We need something. Um, you know, it's like an empty cup. What is the empty cup is the vehicle that holds the water, right? So we're like the water. Our message is the water. So this is why we want to take whatever that is. That is your superpower. It could be helping people, but not just helping people in what? Well, I like to help people find their hero. I like uh, to help people, you know, be better parents. Whatever that thing is. I don't know your thing, but it's the thing that it just, it's on your heart all the time. That's all you want to think about. That's all you want to be doing. If you could do anything, that's what you would do. And if you say, I don't know, remember, I don't know is a uh, autoresponder. That's because it, we've been trained to say, I don't know. It, you do know, it, you know, choose to remember. It's, uh, it's just because it's an easy way to put up a wall to not have to face what it really was. Because sometimes when we do know our purpose and we do know our superpowers and we do know our gifts, then it really creates a contrast to what we're really doing. Chances are your superpower isn't being utilized in your job right now. That's a big, that's a big, that's a, a good chance, right? So a lot of times if you were to face, these are my superpowers, my gifts and my talents, and they're not being utilized in my work, you have to face the fact that, wow, my potential is not being utilized and what I've been created for is not being utilized. And sometimes that's a, that's a wake up call that forces you to have to do something, right? And if you don't do something, what do we do? We have to create the emotion of numbing because numb, numbness is an emotion or we distract yourself or we say, I don't know, or we close that part of our mind off to basically become apathetic and indifferent in that area. So we don't have to face the fact that we're actually spending and wasting time in an area. But Dr. Z, I got to make the money. I get it. But those fears and the fogs, you know, you got to you got to you got to really make a decision, whether it be today, you know, sometimes there is it's not very black or white. There is gray area. And when you find yourself in that gray area, you got to ask yourself, do I want to be right or do I want to be happy? Right. So that's that's something you have to go like, do you, you know, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And sometimes, you know, all the time, when you do the thing that you love to do, that you get more energy, that you forget to eat, that time flies by, you have a state of joy and happiness that's godly, plain and simple. You're full of joy. You know, it's because I notice accomplishments, um, it's a different kind of happiness and joy. It's like a, it's a scoreboard. It's a hell yeah, high five, fist pump. That's a fist pump. And uh, then, it, then it, it's over. It's over really quick, you know. It, it doesn't last. It's a, it comes and goes. But when you're doing something you love, it, you, it's a, it's a joy and a happiness that's coupled with gratitude. That is an amazing thing. So, w answer those questions. What are your gifts and talents? What would you be doing? What do you know they are? You could be maybe you want to help teach teach people something or, or whatever that is. So now let's switch over to your vehicle, right? So remember, the vehicle is what you deliver that message through. And so if it's speaking, speak your message or speak that gift or talent. If it's writing, write about it. If it's podcasting or audio, speak about it. You know, don't, don't, uh, don't discredit audio. In fact, uh, the best social media and the best marketers out there today are, is saying that voice is coming back very strong because, see, you have to watch this video right now, right? So actually what saves you time is if you were in the car and you had to listen to this, right? So listening saves you time. So don't discredit voice. And 
Um, for some people speaking, you need to speak in front of people to get that inter interchange. Like, see, I'm speaking in front of a phone and a camera. When you speak to a camera, I have to bring the energy because I'm not, I'm getting your hearts and stuff. So you're giving me some feedback, but uh, you have to create the energy. So sometimes speaking in a camera gets very frustrating to people. And with audio, uh, which is nice is you don't have to worry about what you look like, right? So if you're, if you're a little worried or self-conscious about what you look like, what you shouldn't be, but let, let's say you're at that point, just think you could be in your pajamas, or you could be naked as far as I'm concerned, and you could speak your message too. So audio is a really great thing. Writing's even better. You could be naked and whatever. I don't know. You could have greens juice around your mouth. It doesn't matter. You know, and you could write about it. And for some of you, here's an easy thing. How do you know you're a writer? Literally, when you write, you could you, 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 your brain spits out paragraphs. Boom, boom, boom. For some of you, such as me, if I have to write, it might take me a day to write a piece of paper, and then it's got to be edited. So, you know, writing, uh, it just doesn't flow. So find the thing. It's usually going to be speaking. It's going to be, now speaking could be one-to-one. -one. Many of you are like this, speaking in front of a crowd. Worst thing you could think about, you freeze, right? But what you really enjoy is speaking one-to-one -one with somebody, right? Having a conversation. That's why podcasting is really good because when you, when you do a podcast or uh, you don't have to, it's, it's an interview, it's just a conversation. And that's really a wonderful thing. It's authentic. So uh, you have to find your thing. Do you like to speak just with one person and you really love that? Or if for some people speaking on a stage is very exhausting, in a video is exhausting. So find the thing that's not exhausting. It lights you up. It makes you sweat. You know, it, get, it gets you that, that universal power and energy. And remember, you use that vehicle to deliver this message, right? So the vehicle is the cup and you are the water, so to speak. So this is why, you know, whatever that message is, whatever your superpower is, it's so easy uh, using social media pl platforms to start doing that. So that's why I encourage you start doing a Facebook Live, even if it's three minutes every day on your thing. Uh, if it's not video, then I want you to do a long form written post. Long form. Long form means you could write three paragraphs if you want, if writing is your thing. Um, if you want to do audio, easy. You know, there's SoundCloud, all those things. Start doing audio. If you want to do uh, speaking, one to one or one to many, if you, if, or if you want to do a one to one type of coaching thing, maybe just go back and forth with a friend. But I want you to get used to doing something because um, when we start using our vehicle, number one, we first have our, we, we know our superpower and we love it and we know our vehicle, you're not going to be fantastic right off the bat. So the thing is, Two things, you start doing it daily because it increases your skill in that vehicle and also it defines your message even more. You understand, you get feedback. So it's a way of defining it and really laser focusing your, your superpowers, gifts and talents as well as developing your skill which is your vehicle to get out there. So this is why it's a wonderful thing to do and uh, it's really, you know, it's just something that discipline your style. And like, listen, you don't have to beat the day before. Your writing doesn't have to beat the day before. That's another thing. You have to surrender to the process of it. And a great thing about it is when you do it on a social media platform, there's so many of them, chances are who you're writing to, your friends and your family. You're not going to get haters at all. It's going to be your friends, family, people who love and care about you. And the great thing about that is you're, you're, you're speaking, writing, talking to a warm crowd that's going to give you really good, nice and honest feedback. So it's a very easy transition of getting into it. And it's really going to be the best thing you could do. It costs nothing. It's totally free, right? But at least if you just spend five to 10 minutes or 15 minutes talking about your message, it'll revitalize you. It'll wake you up. It'll get you excited. It's going to speak to someone. It's going to help thousands of people eventually because, you know, in the beginning, you might be writing to one person and before you know it, it'll be a thousand that'll be reading that. And it really starts progressing and getting your message out there. And then the fourth pillar that I was able to develop finally this week was the monetization of it, which we'll go over probably tomorrow or another day where the whole thing comes up to, yeah, Dr. Z, I got the mindset. I am the hero. You're right. I'm liberated. You know, I love this. This is what I want to do with my life. This is my vehicle. But how do I what? How do I make money out of it? How do I make a living out of it? How can I now make a living out of something I love to do? And we finally were able to develop that. And I'll probably talk about that tomorrow. All right. So hopefully you guys uh, remember the difference between your gifts and your talent and your vehicle is this. Speaking and writing and audio and those things. That's not your gift. That is your vehicle. It's what you speak about. It's what you video about. It's what you write about. It's what you talk about. 
which is your superpower and your talents, all right? So write those out, make them clear, get out there, start doing it, and you will actually, uh, and enjoy the process. Remember, embrace the unknowns. The unknowns it was when everything comes to pass, and that's where God's at the entire time. Have a blessed day, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Hit the, hit the uh, just right there, just hit the share. Just boom, hit the share. Uh, hit the like, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow.